Page 975, problem 60. I have a diagram here that I thought would work, but I mean it gives you the idea. If you shine white light through the transmission grating, diffraction grating, your central maximum will still be white, but then the colors that bend the most, the red, will be the bent furthest away from the central maximum. They're, they're uh, interference maximum peaks will be more spread out than the violet or the blue. So my initial diagram here, I'm kind of showing you that, that the red, it, it sort of disperses light, in other words it spreads the light into its different colors. So there's, there's a first order red right there, second order red right there, and the blues are more compactly spaced because they don't bend as much through the diffraction grating. Unfortunately, the math here shows that, well, the picture shows you that the, the third order blue does not come before the second order red. In other words, they don't overlap yet. But the math, if you do the math here, because of the, the wavelengths you're given, in fact, you can see this maybe coming. If you calculate this, where the second order red should be, which I have basically in the picture there, the second order red, which is right here. According to the calculation, the distance from the central maximum over here to the, the, the white in the center of that x value should be 0 0.780 L, L being how far from the screen you are. You could pick one meter for L if you want. They didn't tell us what L is, but it's the same for both, for all the colors, specifically here, the, the violet and the red. But I just plugged into the x equals m lambda L over d, and we got that value. But for the blue, or the violet, because it's got twice the, or half the wavelength, the third order would have appeared at 0.585L. It would have appeared before the th second red, which in my diagram there it doesn't. It appears after the, the second red. In fact, if you look at the math here, the, because it's half the wavelength, the second order blue, or violet, should actually be right on top of the first order red, simply because it's half the wavelength. You can kind of see the math there. So that would be a complete matchup. The, the second order blue should match up with the first order, it's going to keep saying blue instead of violet. The second order violet should match up with the first order red. But anyways, to answer the question that they give you here, that doesn't really coincide with the diagram, yes, the, the third order blue the third spectrum does overlap the second spectrum. If you check this with the more accurate equation as well, the d sine theta equals m lambda, you will find as well that the third order violet will indeed overlap or come before the second order red.